Hi, how are you today? This is Jelly Bling, and have you ever done the shaving cream project? Shaving cream. So, right now, through celebration, we could get marvelous paper, which is lovely, but every time I see a sample using marvelous paper, I think, oh, we need to do the shaving cream technique. So, what is more perfect with shaving cream than water scenes. And you know what? I have a bag of shaving cream from days gone by. Just because whenever I look through here, imagine that for fall. It's just, to me, it's very inspiring. So I'll flip through some of these. And you could see what a good background they would make. That one is pretty. Ooh-wee. And the paper, it's conditioned, just like shaving cream conditions a face. Those are the same. So these are all shaving cream. And what's interesting about this is the first time you dip it into the shaving cream, which we'll do in just a few minutes, it comes out and the colors are really strong. I think I wrote on some of these first generation First, and I tell what colors I used. So these are all first generation. Third, first, fourth. Let me find a good example of what I'm talking about. So this has apple and mambo and maybe balmy. So the first, did I write on here? No, okay, but I can assume. First time you dip it in, the colors are strong. Next time you dip it in, they're a little bit softer, and they get more and more pastel as you go. Those are some crazy colors, but it's beautiful. I think there's some good green ones. Oh, these right here. Oh, here. These are good, too. I think these all go together. I didn't write on them. But the first time you dip it in, First, second, third is somewhere around here, but, but you'll get the idea. So first time, the colors are definitely strong. This time they're a little bit softer, and at the end, it's really soft. So you get all of them, no matter how many, if you keep dipping it, they just keep getting softer. Um, but it's a lot of fun. So that's what we're going to do today. And I do have, keep in mind, some of these are old dyes. But just taking just a little bit of that paper, putting it as a background. Pretty, pretty. Look at that one. Stamped with the birds on top of it. This one's very pretty with the little birds down here. I don't have any of these stamp sets anymore. That's nice. Thinking of you. Oh, the little girl. So look how soft this one is. Put some balloons on it. I mean, these are perfect backgrounds. Oh, that's perfect. That one is fun. But when I look through these, they're all very inspiring. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. Let me get this all out of the way. For Awesome Otters. And when you run out and get you some shaving cream. It has to be the creamy kind. Um, at home I thought I have some and I went into Tony's cabinet and he has that gel kind that when you lather it up it becomes lathery but it needs to be this kind. Not particularly Barbasol but just the old-fashioned white shaving cream. I wonder if you could do it with whipped cream. Here are some things not to do. Oh, when you're stamping with Memento give it just a minute to dry Otherwise, your little lines on your critters will become fuzzy. Not good. There's a new stamp. Gentle Waves. And I thought, oh, I had this ready to go. And I thought, let me stamp over to make it better. Oh, I had to do it again. Didn't like it. But I did use this stamp, Gentle Waves, on the inside right here. And that came out well. I guess you could do shaving cream on this piece because you could still write over the top of it. 
whatever you like. Okay, so here's a sample. Let's do the shaving cream first. Pie tin, shaving cream, extra paper, and a popsicle stick or just something to wipe the shaving cream off of the paper. Um, you could use your bone folder, but your bone folder will get ink on it. Okay, so when you go to do the shaving cream, shake it up. And if I was doing full-size papers and I was going to do like the first, second, third, fourth generation and just keep going on, I would fill up this all in the center. Um, not quite half full, but I would use quite a bit. But because we're doing just this one tiny little paper right here, I'm going to do just, just the center of it. Oh, there's a lid on it. Okay. Shaving cream. Now I'm going to kind of flatten it out just a little bit because I see bits of the tin foil pan down here. And when I put the reinkers on here, I don't want the reinker going way down to the bottom. And tin foil pans. Um, I'm going to put, I have something to say about tin foil pans. Balmy blue, soft succulent, and pull apart. You know what? I might change it up this time because this one it came out a little bit too green and I want it to be a little bit closer to the Bermuda Bay. So I think all these colors would be good. Bermuda Bay. Maybe Bermuda Bay rather than soft succulent. So I'm going to put two drips through here, swirl them through. So I'll tell you, when you're doing your pan, the first time I did this, went down to the kitchen and I got a pan this size used it had fun washed it out really good then a week later or a few days later I was going to make some cornbread and of course use the favorite pan and like I said I washed it out really good the cornbread tasted like shaving cream so I'd suggest getting something disposable and it doesn't have to be a pan. It can be even a paper plate or whatever you have. Okay, so that, that's a few drips of each of the colors. Now, just swish it. Kind of swirl it a little bit. And see this big, heavy bunch of ink right there? When I dip it in, the paper is going to pick up that bit of ink, which might be good. I'm just going to leave it. So, where's my paper? Perfectly cut. It's already cut to fit. So, you just put it in. Smush it down. And I'm pushing on the corners because I could see the corners kind of protruding like a diving board off of that. And I wanted to get into the shaving cream. And keep in mind that the drips of ink are on the top. I did the swooshing just on the top. So if I wanted it to come out um, a little bit more white next time, um, I could just activate some of the stuff from the bottom. And when you pull this out, don't worry about what the, I could see that there's no shaving cream on there. Don't worry about what this pattern is. It doesn't matter at all. Okay. extra paper look at that okay so I'm going to try doing the inside just a minute if you all know me I, I don't like to be dirty I don't like it. I don't like it. Oop. But I have gloves. I have a whole bunch of gloves for those that are weird like I am. And you can wear gloves just in case any of the ink gets on you. Or to keep it from getting on you. 
Okay, so here's this piece, and right now I don't know if you could tell, but it is definitely um, not dry. Okay, so I'm going to set this off to the side, and I think I'm going to do the inside paper. So, that's kind of a mess. So, if I was doing another little paper, I just kind of get a nice little pattern going here. But I'm going to try to get some of the white from down underneath. And you could tell how it's becoming more pastel. There we go. Okay, let me find the inside paper. Okay. Get full coverage on there. And as much shaving cream as I put in here, I could keep, I can make a lot of swirly paper. It's kind of hard just to throw it in. Oh, and if possible, Try not to get shaving cream on the back side because adhesive doesn't like to stick to shaving cream. Okay, so you're like, well, that's going to be just a swish, but it isn't. Check this out. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that fun? And you never know what you're going to get. I kind of want to do some with more of a, a blue, misty moonlight color. Okay. Oh, I see more shaving cream on here. Oh, I'm getting messy. Good. Okay, so I'm going to set this off to the side. Finish the card. But you've seen, you've seen most of the excitement of the shaving cream card. And that's just plain whisper white. Oh, when you're looking at this, can you tell it would be really soft? It's just a mess. Or pick up that blob of color. Get some of the white from down underneath. It's getting marbly. Now this is marvelous right here. Look at that one. Or you could put more re-inkers in there too. Okay, so. Here we go. To make the rest of the card is really simple. I don't know that I'm going to use this on this one. And I will do one other um, project Maybe in different colors for um, another shaving cream project using these otters. They're just, they're really cute. Phew, though, that shaving cream, that was the fun part. So let's do this otter. Oh, I have paper here. This paper is to use the die cut. And, oh, I didn't even tell you anything. We'll be using Layering Circles die cuts, Linen Thread, Bermuda Bay, Pool Party, Memento. A few little drips. Silver and Clear Epoxy Essentials. To me, these look like drips. Awesome Otters. Gentle Waves. I think that's it. Okay. And you know, the birthday is good, but I think maybe I'll try it in black. It's birthday time. Oh, um, online, Traveling Stamper Gwen is the one who posted this layout, and she used the Marvelous. Um, but just to give her credit, it's her layout, it's her card, her design. 
Okay. Oh, I could stamp on this. I'm going to let it dry just a little bit more. So Memento will be right back. Mm. Boy, I'm scattered. I was just so excited to do the shaving cream. Okay, so these two pieces, the scalloped one will go on the pool party. This one, and I will color in the otter. So I have those here. A little bit of linen thread. And that's her right here. These pieces are for this guy. So, memento. Now give it a second to dry, because you saw what happened on the other one. I wonder if I could get two out of this paper. Do you do that? Or you try to get more, more things on your one paper? I think I can. Shelly, you'd be proud. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to color in this otter, cut them out, and give them a couple hats. Okay, so let's start on the outside. Base paper, crumb cake, fold in half. Now I'll have all the um, products used and paper cut sizes on my blog. And my blog is jillybling.com. Okay, so we have that. Now, this paper, we could try this one a little different. It's kind of foamy fuzzy on the edge there. Oh, it's still wet. Maybe like he's jumping out of the water. And then the words make sure that's square then I'm gonna cut a little flag right here Should I try a bow? Nah, I'll just tie it around. I like how that other one came out. My paper, my fingers have um, shaving cream residue on them. They feel very conditioned. I wonder if that has like lotion in it or something. I looked up at the container. The shaving cream is still coming out without me. Okay, so just a little knot. Sensitive skin. Does it have lotion in it? It's old. I think I have one that's a green bottle. Oh, this one has soothing aloe in it. Okay, so this will go here. You like that layout? It gets lost there. Okay, just stick with that. Okay, so to attach the shaving cream paper, like I said, it's a little bit challenging because I think my adhesive will not run right there. Good on plain paper. Yeah, see, it's not really sticking. Maybe a little bit. 
Okay, maybe not. Yeah, it doesn't want to stick to shaving cream. Who knew? So, because of that, liquid blue will. And also, this paper, because it has a shaving cream on it, it has a tendency to kind of roll up on the edges. So, you might want to do the liquid blue anyhow. All along the edges. Okay, double adhesive. Okay, double adhesive is not a good idea. Hooey! Okay, back to the regular way. My fingers are going in the glue. Okay, that's good. So that I have on dimensionals. That didn't turn out good. That just gets filed. That's bad. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, so what side do I want up? This goes right in the middle, or maybe down a little bit. I could see my shaving cream residue right there. Just like the foam. Or maybe it's just the paper peeling up. Probably I should leave it alone and put something over it. <laughs> okay, if it gets too saturated, it makes the paper peel up a little bit. But I guess if you weren't as particular as I am, it wouldn't matter. Good. And let's get this stuck down. Okay, so Otter is going to go right about here. See, these colors, they match maybe just a little bit better. So I'll put liquid glue down here and dimensionals right up here. Because we know the... Um, the Stampin' Seal it doesn't like to stick to that shaving cream. I wonder about dimensionals when we put the greeting on. Isn't he cute? Cute little face. Okay. It's your birthday. So how about that go? Right about there. This is a very simple card. Sometimes I worry I'm letting you down if I do simple cards. Oop, I didn't want two. Well, two of them are going on there. Gosh, I don't even know if they'll stick. They stick. Good. So I'm going to trim up the linen thread. So this is going to be a special project for... Um, next week. Mama wants to have a tea party. So, girls are coming over, bringing their own project, and I said I'll supply one of the projects. This is it. This is the project. And they'll have no idea unless they watch YouTube notifications. Then they'll know. 
it's birthday time and then there is a you're utterly awesome so make sure it's good and that could go right here in the middle and after all this let's hope it's straight Woohoo! it's good that's really cute and you could still write over all this too you know I have four hats I wonder if he could be like he's juggling them there that gives you more room to write this is a little bit softer covering up that okay he's going to be juggling hats <laughs> um will it stick wherever there isn't shaving cream it will stick that's pretty good and this is still a little bit wet from the shaving cream but it's okay the stamp that worked just fine on there okay crazy driver over here huh, not bad Okay, Otter. Awesomely. Otterly awesome. Let's go right here. And the hats. I'll position them, and I think I'm going to put them on a, um, a dimensional. Usually I try not to put dimensionals on the inside of cards, but somehow today... I think they need to be inside. Look at him go. Does it look like he's juggling them? Maybe he could hold on to this one. Yeah, little cutie. Shaving cream. And like you saw in those samples, you can do so many other things. It's good for backgrounds, good for water. There, the hats are just flying everywhere. This otter is ready to celebrate birthday because it's blue and brown I'm thinking it's boy birthday but I don't think it matters so most of us are girls that are watching this would you would you use this as a birthday card for a friend or would you just save it for children I think I would use it because it's popping up here I'm gonna put a little bit of glue I don't think I put any glue down there to begin with okay there it is oh oh wait just a minute we have to do the um the drips of rain the drips of water so in this one I did the silver. I think I want to try the um, the clear. So clear drips. They're all the same size. These are called. Oh, I already said silver and clear epoxy drops. Can you see it better? I'll put one here. I just don't want them to be invisible. They're so cute. One here. Can you see it better in the darker color? Okay. There's three drips on there. I think the silver you could see a little bit better. 
but they're both good. Okay, so that is it. Thank you for tuning in. If you can, give me a thumbs up. I do watch those to know what you like. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.